Hey everybody, it's Marshall again. Um, hope you're having fun with uh, Swybrid. And uh, I thought I, I needed to address this first and foremost. Um, I came up with my own version of Swybrid that you see here specifically to address the problem when your pick's out of position during economy picking. You know, down, up, down, down, Frank Gambale economy picking. Um, I had no idea this guy, Tosin Abasi, was doing it. I started doing it back in 2002, specifically. Um, the lick, the actual lick where it happened was during the crossroads, you know, um, crossroads lick where you go. Right, and so, so to normally pick that, you have three notes, right? One, two, three, and then, and then one on the B string, three on the E and one on the B. So, so that's really hard to do. There's like no other way around it. So, um, so I was just racking my brain, think, thinking of different things to try, and I just thought of throwing a, a pluck note in there, and it seemed to be able to make it so I could sweep. And while I was sweeping, uh, no, and w when. And, and the pluck, the right hand pluck right here on the E string enabled me to, to give me time to get the pick to come back around, to, to give it time to. to it, it gave me time to do the sweep and then to come back around and, and nail the first note, so. So it's like no problem now because of Swybrid, this this Swybrid, okay? Um, and another thing, I think this lick would be, um, this next one is like part two of a introduction to Swybrid. Um, it's a blues lick, so it's gonna be helpful. And that appears in uh, the Faith No More song, um, the uh, epic. And so you just pluck the high E string because you got one note by itself there. Pluck it and then come down on the B string and then go up, up. And now if you're on the 12th fret, um, you might get some harmonic. So, so. And now another thing you can try to do, and I like this even better, is just to go pluck and then go down. Pluck on the high E string, right? Right hand pluck. Come down on the B string. Let's just say right here um, on the 16th fret and 18th fret with an upstroke and then down and then up, up from 13 to 15. Um, yeah, so, um, so do that nice and slow and really exaggerate the motions. And that helps you, uh, well, that'll help you to get it down better. Um, another thing this, the Swiber can help you with is, um, Well, there's so many things it can help you with, like four note per string scales, like. Right, that's just A major, but four notes per string. So it's that same shape, the first two, and it, it works just like the major scale, three note per string. It's the, fir the, the first two are the same shape, the second two are the same shape, and the third, the third two are the same shape. So it's the same thing here. It's. It's down, up, down, up, pluck with the right hand. Down, up, down, down, down. It's almost like your left hand has trouble keeping up with the, these pluck notes and pick notes. 
um, the thing about it is you got to go down, up, down, up, right hand pluck, down, up, down, down. There's your sweep. So you're going to do a pluck, then a sweep, a pluck, then a sweep, all the way up. So then you got, um, you got this shape. You got a whole step, half step, whole step for the, for the middle two strings. You might want to just take these, just, just two at a time, okay? And then, and then you go to the last two. Okay, um, so yeah, there's four notes per string. Now you can also do chromatic scale, four notes per string. Now you can all, the, the best way to do a chromatic scale is five note per string, uh, economy picking, that's just, But if you want just to work on your swiper picking, you just go down, up, down, up, pluck, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, pluck. So you're once again, you're all. It's the same thing as just very different notes you're picking. It's the same thing as the A major scale. It's just you're doing chromatic, and it's the same thing. You do a pluck, then sweep, pluck, then sweep, all the way up. Five notes for string back down. Okay, um, now another thing, um, another thing, uh, people ask me about four notes for string scales a lot. The thing is, you don't really want to do that, um, because it's hard to memorize, because I, I just happen to have that one memorized. I can't memorize all the different patterns. The thing is that what you can do is think like a pianist and think repeat in octaves, okay? So you just do the same thing in each octave. So I'm just gonna do like uh, a a uh, a minor. So I'm just gonna go. Okay, so three notes per string, then four notes. Move that up, up two, up two strings over two frets. Same thing. Now the thing is, how do you pick that? Because you can't use your swibrid. It's too uh un <laughs> it. You have these sweeps, and it's it's really a headache. Um, so the thing is, you use Jimmy Bruno uh, economy picking. Now he um, he came up with this. Jimmy Bruno's a like New York based uh, jazz player, and he was tired of just playing alternate picking and not being able to keep up with like pianists and saxophonists and having them, you know, because he wanted to be able to play just be able to keep up with them, play faster licks. So he explored this and came up with his version of economy picking, and it's different than the Gambali method. Okay, Bruno economy picking is, when, is, is is summed up this way: when going to a higher string, use a downstroke; when going to a lower string, use an upstroke; and when you're on one single string, you alternate pick. It's really that simple. So that's what we use for this for three four. I call this three four scales because you have three notes per string, then four. So we're gonna sweep here for the first down, up, down, down, up, down, up. We're out of position. The normally swibrid would help here, but it's too unpredictable for the rest of the scale. So we just go Jimmy Bruno downstroke. Go right to it. Just go. We don't think, oh. You don't think, oh, I need to do alternate picking. No, we do. Just go right to that C. Well, actually, we're we're doing this in A, so I'll go back here. And that way you can play, um, you don't have to memorize all the different shapes. You just move them up. And then when you get to the um, the B string, you have to move up, move up three frets, okay? Uh, you go up two strings and three frets over. Okay, and you can also do this with uh, triads, right? So we just go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And um, and that can be very effective. Um, but mainly when I'm sweeping through repeating in octaves like this, I use one three sweeping. Okay, so I'm doing one note, then three notes. 
you can you can come down because we have that shape. That reminds me of pentatonic, so I'll just do a pentatonic there on top. I just hate repeating myself. You know, I hate doing the same thing up and down. Okay, so so we have that shape. We can do we can do dominant. We can do. We can do all sorts of things. Um, one way to get this down is to, uh, my favorite lick is actually quite musical, is to do one three sweeping um, where you approach um, chord tones. I, so this would be, that's like an add nine arpeggio. All right. Um, okay, so that kind of thing works. So we're gonna do that kind of right here. We're gonna go G, C, D sharp, E. And just repeat that in octaves. Same thing. And we go down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. And now we're here, and we just go down C major, one note per string, right? Okay. Okay, now we're here. Now let's do this shape. Let's approach. So the first one, we approach the third, right? E is the third of the chord of C major. We approach that from a half step below. Now let's approach, let's approach the fifth from a half step below. So there we have that wonderful, um, Lydian arpeggio, which is hard to do one note per string sweeping. I use this all the time. Okay, so it's one, C, E, F sharp, G, C, F sharp, I'm sorry, C, E, F sharp, G, C, E, F sharp, G, And you do Swibert on top with this. Yeah, you can go crazy with all that stuff. Uh, mix it all together and and um, you go crazy like me. Um, so anyway, so we came down here. So now we're up here in this position. Let's go down C major again, arpeggio. Now we're here, let's approach the octave, the C, the root from a half step below. So that gives you what? C major seven arpeggio. Okay, so let's let's play the whole play the whole lick together. Let's try it again. And um, there you have it, Swibert Nation, swibert-nation.com for uh, more technique books so you can work on all this crazy stuff. And we'll see you later.